right? Just grab a chair. It'll take a few minutes. And uh, what I did is uh, I, I measured the dimensions. So this length it's like a 142 ish, and on this one it's about 21, actually 21, like so. And uh, then what I did was I created a plane with uh, the size so of a reference so that I know I should build it inside that square. And then in the, the layer, uh, it's, I took this, I can just uh, remove this layer. Uh, there. So I have this plane and I go on the layer uh, editor and I add a layer and then I set it to a template. That means this is something I cannot select. It's just there for like a reference so that I know when I'm modeling things approximately what size it has. Um, another thing I could do was uh, add something like a locator here. And if I, if I measure um, like the length of the tip bit here, it's like, uh, it's like five centimeters. So that's like 50. So that should be, uh, that should be 50 from this point here, which is uh, 71. So this should be located at 21 ish. So we just go to there. Just put that over there and add it to this layer. There you go. So now it's also part of the locator. So now I just know that this is where the tip part ends, right? So all of the rest of this will just be like the handle. Um, to do something like, um, like a fork, what you need is uh, to sort of uh, figure out how many divisions you need. And in this case you need five divisions because you have uh, three uh, of the teeth and two of the holes. So that will be five units in all. So if I go and create a cube, and I'll just pull that up there, uh, and I'll uh, make this uh, just make this uh, 22 or 21. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's uh, that one. Yeah. So it'll be 21 here. Doesn't matter. It's a little bit more. Uh, and the divisions in depth should then be five. Yeah. Because then we have uh, one, two, three of the tooth, right? Um, I need to figure out the, the depth of this or the thickness. So this should be like four. So I'll set this height to four. There. <coughs> and uh, then it is. it has like a slight curve. Um, so ideally what you do would be like a, place this up and then photograph it uh, right on so that you had that as a reference image. But this will work too. <coughs> so here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure the, the length of these and they are like uh, 26. So I'm going to grab, oh, I'm going to grab the face of each of these and use my extrude tool. And uh, then this should be like 26 and you can see it's 26 over here. So that is like the, the length Oh, you know, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then I want, uh, want a couple of uh, subdivisions for this. So I'm just going to go and say uh, divisions, and maybe say three, something like that. Also, it should be uh, narrower at the, at the tip. So it should be like uh, all the way down to one, something like that. Um, so I'll just grab this and just make this uh, more narrow. And over here, something, something like that, okay. Um, and then to create the, the slide curve, I will be able to go and say uh, vertex, and then grab these vertices here, and maybe just pull them down a little bit, <coughs> uh, like there, and there. Maybe pull these up. 
just slightly. And if we just press three, you can see this is what it looks like uh, when I when I set it to three. Now, right now, as you can see, this doesn't look right because when you smooth something, it will shrink. Right. So the each of the uh, the fingers here becomes smaller. So uh, for this, you would actually have to sort of like uh, go in and uh, maybe grab these and make these uh, slightly thinner, like so. And oh, and the same thing on the top here. Go to vertex. Let's go top view. And then if I press three, you can see here. Yeah, and then just bring this in. Something like this. It's uh, it's slightly better. Uh, maybe take all of these and then just bring them in a little bit, like so. Okay. Um, let's see that one as well. There. It looks a little more like the original. Um, and then going to grab this, move that up here, and uh, then we have to do the rest of this thing. Grab the face, yeah, and then another extrusion, and it should go all the way down here. And this should be uh, not like that. Uh, if I click this one, I get world space, so I can do things like this, and maybe uh, add a, an extra divisions there, uh, and maybe move this up slightly. Move it back to there. See, it looks sort of like this, and it should probably be slightly more like so. And then I do another extrusion and I pull this all the way back here. And back here, it's uh, it's wider. So, oops, press that one and make this wider, like so. And maybe give it a. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, we actually don't need any divisions at the moment. Um, so if I press three, I get this, which is uh, sort of uh, in the area of what I want. Uh, and if I go to the front view, and this is where I'm going to do my uh, my work. I'm going to look at this, and I can see I need to like shape it now. Um, so just go and grab vertex and then I can start to I could like uh, go in and then put it flat and then start measuring how, how far is this so it would be like uh, 12 units so this should go up like this and it should go up like that and something a little more something like that and this one should be a little lower there and then we need this slightly higher so we're about there now I think <coughs> this and then on the back side we have this uh, rounded edge oh he's still alive good um, we have this rounded edge so we'll go and grab these uh, faces here uh, there and then just uh, pull them down slightly and this one so we get that sort of a rounded feel here uh, maybe slightly more you can also go in soft mode by pressing B and then I can oh, uh, there. something like that and then this edge up here should then be slightly flatter as I can see it sort of like tapers off towards the end so just do something like like this and then this also rounds a little bit so what I need to do is go in and grab these faces over here and then just pull these out a little bit maybe like like so and if 
if I press 3, I'll get something that starts to look um, like a real thing. I think I need to like pull these in at the tip. They should only be like 14 units. <clears throat> so if I go and look at the top view, grab vertex, these should then be like uh, in here somewhere. Something like this should be slightly wider, I guess. Maybe you move this back a little bit. Yeah, that looks more correct. Like so, um, and then make these slightly wider. And this one, this one. This one should probably be as thinner and these should be wider. Something like this. So it's starting to look okay. And <clears throat> then to sort of uh, sharpen things up, I can use uh, the insert uh, edge loop tool. I put it here, but it's in the mesh tools, insert edge loop. And if you want to add it to your shelf, you hold control shift and then you click on it, and then it adds it to your shelf. So you have it uh, just here. And then for instance, there's like a sharp line going down through the side of it. So I just grab this, and then I go in and click on an edge here. And that adds a line going around all the way. And then as I smooth it up, you can see it's like, it's sharpened it up slightly, right? Uh, and I can do the same thing uh, here when I need it to sharpen up a little bit as well to get the, the right sort of shape. And uh, I guess to, to get the, the tips here to be a little better, maybe I'll do something like this. Maybe I need to move them back a little bit, but you can see I get something that has a more solid shape and the same thing at the at the end over here where it's like a little uh, soft if I add one here you can see it tightens up the whole model so the end is I get something like this uh, it's a little angular uh, especially in this area here where I need it to like uh, soften a little bit um, so what I need to do is like grab this edge going around here, and then just uh, drag that, oh, not that one, uh, drag that back a little bit. So as it smooths, you can see it's sharp up here, but it's uh, still soft in this area, because as I bring it together, it becomes sharper. As I bring it away, it becomes uh, more soft, like so. I think these should be, no, it's probably, it's probably good. So that's, that's the way to approach it. Um, for the spoon, I would use a slightly different approach, and I can show you that. It's about the same size, so I'll just keep the same box. Um, so I just have a control H to hide that one. And uh, then I'll start with the plane. And I'll put that out there, and change the size of it. Make sure that this is uh, as divisions two, maybe. Uh, and then uh, stretch this slightly so that it gets like a spoon shape. If I press 3 on this, it doesn't really smooth it, right? Like I would uh, like it to, uh, but that's okay. If I press uh, smooth up here, you will see that it was supposed to smooth this. Why didn't it smooth it? I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Okay, let's just grab these and then bring these in a little bit. Make sure if I press three. Yeah, okay. And if I smooth this, yeah, yeah okay, it's it's going to be good. Like so. <clears throat> grab this one. Um, then I need to create like the. So I'll pull this 
down a bit, like so. And uh, then what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to um, give it uh, depth. So I'm going to extrude. And then I can uh, just give it thickness, like so. Right? So I just gave it some thickness. And when I smooth it, it looks like this. Uh, and uh, then I will add smoothness here. Yeah, so I added extra points. Uh, and then I can go and, and grab these uh, points in here. Just go to vertex, grab this block here. Yes. So just go and bring those down a little bit more so that I get more of the shape of the, of the spoon. And um, then the next thing is to go and grab the faces in this area here, and then extrude those. Click this little button here to get this to like pull out. And this one has to go up a little bit, maybe get it a little thicker, and then do it again. Same button up there, pull that out. Maybe pull it all the way to the end here. Sort of like the same thing. Not that one. That one. Something like that. And this should also be slightly wider at the end. And it should be... Double click this. Slightly smaller here. So I can press 3 now. Get something that looks like that. And then I can go and use the insert edge loop. Put one in there. Maybe put one in there. See, now it starts to shape up quite well. So now this shape is not exactly the right one, but it's sort of correct. So you can see how the different in, in approaches. And this one I start with a cube because I want to get the the five segments so that I can create the. I could do it with the five segment plane as well, and do it like this. And the reason why I start with the plane on this one instead of the cube is that it's much easier to shape this uh, hollow shape when you're just working with the plane instead of if you're working with the cube, you have to take care of the points on both sides, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. So um, that's basically it. Uh, I'll just, uh, this will be... Uh,